worship should help people prepare for their encounter with death. Life is full of suffering. Life is full of hard times and challenges. And if the church can gather in the midst of those hard times and acknowledge their suffering together, and through that, see how Jesus is the cure to all of that disease and to all of that pain, it's a beautiful thing. One of the, the sins of our generation is kind of this narcissistic search for the novel and the new. And the gift of Isaac Watts is the gift of being a part of the historical church. Absent from flesh, so oh, blissful thought, what joy this moment brings. About 250 years ago in England, Isaac Watts really transformed the whole culture of worship. He could tell that worshipers in the churches didn't understand what they were singing. So he endeavored in this task to begin to rewrite the Psalms in English in poetry that was passionate, that was beautiful. There is value in being connected to history. And in fact, the ideals and the topics that Isaac Watts dealt with as he wrote these songs as a pastor are timeless. Lord, we confess We had a, a whole lot of people involved in the record. We probably had um, you know, more than a dozen people involved in writing, and then another whole dozen people involved in recording, singing, and playing on the record. We recorded the record live in the studio. So most of what you hear when you hear these records are single takes, single performances. The idea to record it live was a decision made so that the music could be more organic. Our goal was to get something that really kind of captured the essence of what we try to do when we gather here at Sojourn. There's something about recording live that captures the emotion. Especially dealing with the song topics of Isaac Watts and the themes of troubles, and sin, and battling against your flesh. But by the mercy of our God, all of our hopes begin, and by the water and the blood, our souls are washed from sin. Death has lost its sing is this lament, this crying out of suffering and the psalmist didn't say a specific thing, but just the feeling of being attacked on all sides. My dad um, suddenly passed away of cancer, um, basically the week that we were recording this record. Uh, my husband and I thought, we're gonna have to bow out, there's no way we can do this. There's nothing that we've experienced that Christ hasn't experienced himself. He grieves along with us. He suffers along with us. My God, how many are my fears? How fast my foes increase? It might sound kind of strange to say this, but being with him as, as he died was such an act of worship for my family because his death means that he's um, in glory with the Lord. If I say something to you that's true, it may not have the same weight or the same uh, emotional response as if I sing it to you. The CD has become the, the modern hymnal. It's been a privilege to steward his words and um, make them accessible in a new sound to a new generation. 
when we gather for worship, we sort of gather in exile. We gather in the midst of suffering. We gather in the midst of life's challenges. And Christ is the hope, the gospel is the hope that sustains us in the midst of that and that points to that, that one glorious day when he returns and all of that ends. people come away from this project seeing Christ as more beautiful and the gospel uh, something that's worth singing and worth celebrating. Angels,